Hey guys, uh, this video is going to look a little different than usual and it's going to be a lot shorter uh, because last night while I was exporting the video, uh, my computer completely died. Um, just won't, won't even turn back on. Um, so there's going to be some distractions like this dog coming in that I can't edit out. <laughs> um, but the idea for this week's video was going to be, and I guess still is, that God is immutable. And this word immutable doesn't mean that God can't speak. It means that God does not change, uh, that God is unchanging. And it's an idea that is comforting to us. It's an encouragement to us because it shows that we can study scripture and that God was the same yesterday, today, and forever. And it's an idea I would love for you guys to dig into on your own a little bit. I'm going to read some of the verses I was going to cover, but I can't go fully in depth on this. Um, but in our Tuesday night discussion groups, we will be talking about this still. Um, so here are just a couple of the verses that I uh, think really stand out in showing that God is unchanging. Uh, the first is James chapter 1, uh, verse 17, which says, Oops, lost my spot. For every good and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variation or shadow due to change. Um, so what this, is, what this is saying is that God gives good gifts, and he has always given good gifts, because there is no variation um, in him due to change. Right? God, the Father specifically here, does not change. And then in Hebrews, we see how Jesus Christ specifically does not change. In Hebrews chapter 13, verse 8, it says, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. So we see how the Father and the Son are unchanging, but we also see how the, Holy, um, how the Godhead, the Trinity as a whole, um, is unchanging. And this is in Malachi uh, chapter 4. 3 verse 6 it says for i the lord do not change and this is god specifically saying i don't change he's declaring that this is an attribute of himself and then interestingly enough we also see that the promises of god don't change right god the father the son the holy spirit and the trinity as a whole do not change but the the promises of god his words don't change either um, and this comes from isaiah chapter 40 verse 8, where it says, The grass withers, the flower fades, but the word of our God will stand forever. So what this is saying is that God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. His promises are the same. His words do not change. So what that means for us is that when we study scripture, we can know that scripture still has an impact on us today. It's still relevant to us today but also that when we're studying and learning about who God is, that's the whole point of this series, going through the attributes of God, is because God is still the same. Those attributes have always applied and will always apply. And we can truly know who God is. And it's an encouragement to us as well, because in a world where everything changes constantly, right, where there's a new iPhone every month, it seems like, every couple months, um, where there's new fashion trends, new TikTok trends, um, where computers can just completely die without any notice and you, there's nothing you can do about it. Uh, the world is changing around us. It's so comforting to know that through it all, God is sovereign. God is in control. He is constant. He is unchanging. Um, and so with that, I hope you guys have some time and have the desire to look into this more on your own. And we will talk about it on Tuesday a little bit more in depth. But um, I hope that you guys can take comfort and encouragement knowing that our God does not change. Have a good one, guys.